Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden, and today we finally have the return of Brothers of Metal to the channel. The chan, the channel, the channel. Uh, they just put out uh, their track Anyard, uh live in Paris last year. I'm assuming they just made it to to Paris last year, considering everything got shut down. Uh, this is a group that the first time we listened to them on the channel. Uh, if any of you were here for that, uh, that was the first time on the channel that I stopped a song like a minute, minute and a half in and I had to restart it because I loved it so much that I wanted to just start it back from the beginning. Uh, it was one of the first times on the channel that ever happened. It was the first time actually at that time. I remember because I remember saying it at the time. I was like, I've never done this before, but I'm restarting. Uh, and I've continued to listen to the group since then. Um, while I was on hiatus, I did listen to the newest album a little bit while I was at work. Uh, so I'm not super familiar with it because uh, a lot of my music time in that last year, uh, the only time I really had a chance to listen to a lot of stuff was at work. But the problem is I'm working. I'm not just listening to music, you know, really analyzing it. So uh, we might touch up a bit on that album as well, depending on uh, the interest from you guys and what tracks you'd like me to check out would be cool to know. Uh, so let's jump in. Are you warm? France, are you warm? Are you ready to jump? If they weren't warm, they'll be now. Okay. It's such a small stage. Warriors have gathered, our ships are sailing west, heading into war on our final quest. Through the lakes we will travel, through the wind and wave, guided by the stars, as we dig away our pain, leaving all behind, nothing left to lose. Where our love most beat the source Where does their blast burn news? Games of mighty beauty For fortune and for glory Through water and grace Through the mighty nails Hey, Lord Mighty with mythical powers Man, it would be so cool to see them in such like a small setting, like you know, like it's basically a bar from the looks of it. It looks like it's like a bar setting. I could be incorrect. It could be like a, a hall, I guess too. I you know, uh, but it's a very small setting and very intimate uh, in these settings. I've been to plenty of you know bar shows for decent sized metal bands just in my city uh, of Moncton, New Brunswick. So uh, this, depending on the style of metal it is, there's not always the biggest turnout, unfortunately. You know, I've had groups like, uh, in the progressive world, Progress the Hero, uh, Protest the Hero is a decently big band, but it's bar shows when they come here. You don't, you don't see them, you know, go to an arena, uh, or anything like that, or even like a big, like, music venue. It's usually a bar show. Uh, who else has been here? Uh, sometimes it's hard... It's hard to remember all the bands I've seen here. Black Dahlia Murder played at a bar here. That's what. That's a. That's a decently uh, big, more like a little bit more. It's something like the tech, tech melodic death metal. You know, it, it's a little bit newer than you know where death metal started. You know, they started in what the late nineties, early two thousands. Um, but they're decently big as well, and still like we don't have these bands hit there. Uh, but to these shows I've been, it's been amazing. You just feel so much closer to the group uh, that's playing in front of you on stage because you're right there. You know, you don't have this uh, this uh, five meter gap where the security guards and you're you don't feel like you're that close. You're still seeing them live. You're still enjoying it. But this is a very intimate setting, uh, and they're a bunch on a small stage too. So they're all like right there in your face. You don't have to turn your head, look all the way over here to see the bassist, all the way over here to see the guitarist. 
uh, like on big stage festivals and stuff like that. So it's really cool, uh, these settings. And especially with them, because a lot of their music is is about... There's camaraderie kind of as a theme throughout, you know, the whole Viking power metal uh, uh, theme in general throughout the genre. And and they really have it here. Plus, they're getting them, a lo- you know, getting them to jump in the song, put their fists up in the air and sing along. It, it just makes like, a great energy. Uh, and it's a great song to do that as well. So, yeah, no, so far really good and the it has really good uh sound quality and video too so so far really good let's continue And he has such a deep voice. I love it. The contrast between the three of them vocally, and I know I'm cutting them off like in the middle of it here. I am going to back it up. Don't worry. I'm going to go back just a little bit. Uh, but it really stands out a lot on this track because they keep switching and doing harmonies between each other uh, a lot. You know, They each took their turn at one point singing, then they're doing harmonies between each other. Uh, but they're all hit, like singing different styles. You know, she's She really soars above, has the very clean vocals. Uh, sounds be- beautiful just over the t- over the top soaring over the top and he comes in with the growls uh, kind of like in the middle it's almost like saying in the middle of the three uh, and just has that nice contrast between her still kind of like harmonizing with her uh, even in his growls and then we have uh, uh, the other one who is uh, coming in with the super deep vocals and it's just a nice contrast between all of them it sounds amazing uh in case you can't tell, I really enjoy these guys a lot. Like, I'm, I'm really, I'm really sad that it's been so long since we've checked them on the channel, and I've been back for like, what, two and a half months now. We haven't done them yet, so I'm really glad that we got a chance to finally get back to this. Let's keep going. of the waves, the awesome power of winds, guides us to wealth of coin, and brings death of those who Oh, and then they up it. Oh, yeah. If you haven't checked out that album yet, you need to. Bonsoir, Paris. Merci, ST. That's more French this way, sorry. Merci isn't, but ST is more this way. <laughs> uh, that was that was really good. I really enjoyed this performance. I really uh, they did so good handling uh, handling the stage. You could tell that it was very cramped for them. You could see little elements here and there. They're bumping into each other where they really didn't want to, but you didn't really have. You know, sometimes you just gotta make it work. Sometimes you can tell like that venue is not made to handle a group of seven, eight members very comfortably, uh, but they made it work really good. Um, 
you know, even just moving around each other, even with her going up behind him while he's doing the uh, the guitar solo, just to like add in another, you know, a little bit of feeling of camaraderie, uh, you know, stage performance. It's uh, they're just really good at that. Like I haven't, the thing is, I haven't got a chance to see too many uh, live videos of them, uh, which is it was really nice to you know really see like a really good quality one with good sound here. Uh, it's a group that I really do want to see one day. Uh, I know, like, uh, they still haven't completely, like, exploded in popularity uh, to the point of, of maybe coming over to North America quite yet. I don't think they've made it over yet, to my knowledge. And obviously, with the pandemic, it makes everything even worse. Uh, but one day, I'm sure they will make it over to North America, and hopefully I can catch them playing somewhere. Uh, I'm hoping, uh, you know really hoping that we can get to that because uh, it, it, it just looks like a great experience it really really does you can't tell me that you can watch this and have like a it, have like a bit of like an uplifting feeling from it uh just particular picturing being there singing along with them uh having some drinks uh, maybe less for me i don't drink as much as i used to <laughs> i really really don't drink very often at all anymore um especially since i've had my child it's a you know it's not as easy to just you know jump in and have some drinks here and there but uh yeah man no this was a, a great performance i'll stop it there because i can keep i'll just keep talking uh hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when i drop new videos i also have a twitch gaming uh channel and a discord server if you guys are interested and as always you guys have a good one and i'll catch you later